Hi, welcome in another episode. So today we are going to work on the typography component that will provide some nice defaults for us to use. So let us start by creating a new component in our components UI directory, and let's call it typography.view. So this component will be rather simple. The whole goal is to just return a P element with appropriate classes. Uh, well, that's not actually true, but it is kind of true. But yeah, we should just return P, then slot, and then, uh, I'm sorry, let's close the slot here and let's close the P element here. So then let's add our, um, our props. And we'll definitely accept something called team. And um, this will be of type string. This will be required. And we only want to accept a couple of values, but we'll add the validator later. So what we want to do basically is create a computer that will um, return our class list. So I will utilize a lookup uh, table to find appropriate styles for given uh, theme that we want to pass to this component. So let's create a table. Uh, let's call it uh, class lookup. And this will simply return class lookup. Uh, something like that, basically. Okay, so now let's build our lookup. And uh, the way I like to do this is I just like to um, follow HTML tags. So, you know, I would have something like h1, h2, h3, and h4. Then we would have a p, we would have a default, we would have a description, and I think that's it. Okay, so let's start uh, styling our elements. So for H1, I will go with text LG, font semi bold and text default. For H2, I will do font medium and text default. For H3, I will do text SM, font medium, text default. For H4, I will do text XS, font medium, text default. And for the P tag, uh, we'll do text excess, text muted. Default will be text SM, text default. And for the description, I think we can do text. We can remove description. Let us uh, just use those for now. Uh, so now we can use this, this cool thing from, um, from view props, which is called validator. So uh, we want to add this to make sure that uh, nobody will be able to, you know, pass. Um, and it seems that I cannot spell yeah, validator. And uh, we just want to, you know, make sure that our value uh, will be included in an array that we define here. So we basically just want to copy those styles. And just uh, paste them here. And now, you know, we can just uh, save them like that. And this should be working. So now the only thing we need to do is apply the class here. Uh, so, oh, I called it class list. It should be team class. Yeah, let's just use that here. And now uh, let us go to our in UI.view page. And here we can add a new presentation section uh, for typography. So we'll use our new component. We'll do the uh, iteration again. So here we'll use um, typography themes and an index in typography themes. Oh, I just want to use theme here. Uh, then let's pass the index here. And uh, we'll also pass the theme. 
and maybe you know here we can just pass the theme as well. Okay, so um, of all, let's add some spacing here. And uh, now let's find this this, this array here that will return uh, you know the typography themes that we we have. So again, we can just go here and uh, basically copy that uh, that thing here that we have in our validator, and let us paste it here. And let's save that. So now we can see our typography. However, you know, we don't necessarily want to use P everywhere. Sometimes uh, we want to, you know, render a different HTML tag in order to be more accessible. Uh, so let us code that behavior in. Uh, the way we can do this is we can specify another prop called tag. And um, this will be a string. It won't be required. The default value will be P. And we can add, you know, validator for it to make sure that we are only passing, accepting a couple of values. Uh, so, you know, we can accept P, H1, H2, 3, 4, 5, uh, a label, and I'm sure there is a span. I'm sure there is more, but for now, um, let's keep it like that. That's right. And you know what? Let me just inline those because it's taking too much space. All right, so let's see if this is working. Um, we can break this into multiple lines. I'll probably uh, make the S-Lint do that for us later. But for now, let's just pass the tag and you know make the uh, make it a label or something. And if we inspect our HTML here, uh, we can see it's not working because I didn't change that yet. So here we can use uh, component is tag. And this is um, Vue's way of like supporting dynamic components from props and stuff. And we can see that now we are in rendering labels. Another thing that we may want to do is uh, add a support for capitalize because sometimes you know we have a string from the backend and it's lowercase or something and we just want to make it you know capitalize. Uh, so let us just add this prop here. This will be a boolean. Uh, it won't be required and the default value will be true. Uh, I'm sorry, the default value will be false. So we could uh, use an object notation for the, the classes here. And we can use simply just apply capitalize style when capitalize is passed as true. We can see that uh, that's interesting. I bet we can do something like that. Yeah, we can do something like that. And this way it will work. Uh, so now let's test this and we can pass the capitalize here. Uh, we don't really need to pass a boolean, we can just pass the parameter like that. And we can see that Okay, I, I'm not sure what was happening. I, I think uh, I had like a cache issue because it wasn't detecting that uh, there was a new prop. So I bet if we even go back to our first, uh, you know, thing that we were trying here, this would work as well. Let me just do a hard refresh to make sure that it is working. Yeah, so uh, we just had the cache issue.
this happens. Uh, so yeah, we can see that you know it is truly working. Um, now that I think about this, we we might have uh, you know made those those uh, this typography a bit too small. Uh, so let me just bump everyone every, every text uh, by one. This would be text LG, and this would be text XL. Save this, and you know this probably looks better. Let's just split those into multiple lines so it's better read, and uh, we can also add something like V bind utters. So this would work out of the box because we only have like a top level component, but this basically means that uh, if you want to and like pass uh, additional class like I know X, that's not a good idea. Uh, italic, I think, right? It would be passed to the component uh, natively. So uh, this is exactly what we want. 